Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Now, Celtic's hunt for a right back has been going on for years and years, it seems. We thought we were getting close to a player, Josip Juranovic, the Croatian right back from Legia Warsaw, but now it seems like that move may not be happening. Now, we're going to get a bit of an insight into Juranovic and the state of the deal by speaking to Croatian journalist Isaac Ante Susic, who is the editor-in-chief of Germaniac.hr. He knows about Croatian football, don't you? Yeah, I know something. I, I, I think I know something. You certainly do. You've been tweeting quite a lot about Celtic. Boom, is what you yeah. say quite a lot. Um, what's the current situation with Juranovic and Celtic? So, uh, we had some uh, few infos from Poland, few infos from Croatia. And uh, the current info is that we thought that everything is going okay. And we thought that uh, Legia Warsaw was uh, willing to sell their star player. Juranovic certainly is one of them. And after their loss against Dinamo Zagreb in uh, Croatia, in, uh, sorry, uh, Championship, uh, Champions, Champions League. League, Champions League qualifications, uh, they decided that they don't need him uh, in, in their squad. And so... Celtic was the one. Celtic was the club that he needed to join. There are also a few other clubs that are interested in uh, Josip Juranovic, such as uh, Fiorentina from uh, Italy. But I think that uh, Juranovic had... Um, he heard a lot of good things about Scottish football because he plays with Borna Barisic, who is in uh, Glasgow Rangers, or I don't know, maybe some other players like Nikola Katic also. So um, I think that... Uh, Croatian players always uh, played, uh, I think, I would say, good football in Sc Scotland. And it's a good step uh, step from, for them if they would like one day, eventually, to go to the Premier League. Also, Celtic is a massive club. I don't have to say to you that it, it would be a big honor for him to play for, for Celtic. But there were some some things that, we know, that nobody expected, nobody has anticipated, and that was... Um, I think that uh, few agents came came around and uh, they a little bit stopped the deal. Right. Okay. We have a history of trying to sign players and maybe no. not offering the right amount. Is this another situation where Legia have a valuation for Juranovic and Celtic aren't quite willing to pay that valuation? To be honest, we can only speculate because... It's not that I'm, I'm in Legia Warsaw or that I'm in Celtic, but to be honest, I think that it's a it's a fair deal from from Legia. They have a best their play, best player and they want to sell him, but for a fair amount of money, and uh, they know that Celtic is not one of those clubs who can't afford anything, you know. So uh, I think that they want something for Juranovic. They want to sell him. I, they're they're not. It's not that they want to sell him. They agreed to sell him so that they can keep their squad uh, happy. Hmm. So, what's happening? I don't know. I don't know. I think I think that we thought everybody thought that uh, this is going to be a smooth deal, and that uh, no setbacks, no everything, not, not not nothing else. But eventually, something came up. We are also trying to figure it out what what, what happened because um, when somebody tells you something from Legia stand stand up point, they're tend to speak in their own way, you know, like Celtic is uh, the only one to blame. And mm -hmm. when you're speaking with someone from Celtic, they're going to say Legia is the one to blame. But there's uh, the truth. The truth is some, somewhere in the middle and we're trying to get to that. So I think that we will eventually. And I wouldn't say that the deal is off. I think that there is a still chance that uh, Juranovic signs eventually for for uh, Celtic. But um, it will. it's going to take take some time. Celtic have also been linked with a Manchester City right back called Jan Kuto. Now, he was at the Celtic game on Thursday night. He was a guest at Celtic Park. Is it possible that Celtic just prefer Kuto to Juranovic? I think that it's much more realistic uh, from Celtic stand of mind. That. Because uh, if you have a player that already, already came to your stadium and watched the game, uh, I'm not uh, interested. I'm not really into that deal. I don't know anything about it. I don't have nobody in Manchester City. So, uh, but to be honest, I think it's a 
it sounds like it's going to be Manchester City over Legia and Koto over Juranovic. Or even though, even though, in my personal opinion, I haven't, I haven't watched watched that guy play, how, how he plays. I don't know him as a player, but I know Juranovic as a player, and I know what he can bring to uh, to Scottish football and to Celtic football club. And I think that would be a really, really good player for him, for Celtic. So I'm sorry, for, I'm sorry if this if this deal doesn't doesn't happen, and if if anything goes goes bad for either 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 team or or Juranovic. I would be disappointed. I, I really would. This may be the most wasted couple of minutes because I'm going to ask you to talk about Juranovic and tell me what kind of player he is. And of course, he may not even sign for Celtic. So tell tell me about Juranovic. Um, what kind of player is he? So it's a fun fact because when he was a 18 years old, he played for a Croatian second tire called Dubrava. And he was an attacking midfielder. He started his career as an attacking midfielder he his big, biggest asset is a good shot from distance and eventually when he signed for Hajduk Split which is the second biggest club in Croatia with their history and everything else Dinamo is i think number 1 but uh, he signed for 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 Hajduk and in the beginning he was a midfielder but eventually after i don't know maybe two or three games he started playing as a, as a right back because he was uh, one one of those guys you can re rely on uh, if you have somebody like Juranovic, you you're set, you're, you're good to go. If you're a right winger or somebody like that, you know you can go uh, in the offense and get everything you have, and, and he's gonna cover your back. So Juranovic, his biggest um, asset or something like that, I would say that uh, he has a good cross, and I would say that uh, maybe the thing that he needs to that he needs to improve on is a defensive. Um, awareness and uh, his work on defense like uh, when he's off the ball i think that he can he can improve improve in that in those those two situations but uh, if we're talking about celtic celtic is a type of club that it's always in offense especially in in the scottish league mm -hmm. i think players like juranovic um, it would be a good thing to have one of them because he likes to play uh, Towards and to go to go in offense, and uh, his weaknesses in defense wouldn't be so much. You you, you wouldn't see that, see them as much as you would if he plays for a team that is always uh, defending. So I think that that would be a good thing for him. Also, what to, why I have to mention about Juranovic, what type of uh, guy he is. He's a really nice guy. He's somebody that can, that can talk with you for hours. And uh, I think about him. You have to be aware that Croatia in 2018 they won the silver medal. You know everything that goes in Russia, and we had uh, we have uh, Shime Versalko on the right back from Atletico yeah. Madrid. But if you if somebody like Juranovic goes into Euros and replaces Shime, Shime Versalko and plays, I would say solid, not great, not 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 bad, solid. That's something. That's something for us. He has ten appearances for Croatian national team, and I think that it will be a lot more. So, did he take Versalico's place? Was Versalico injured? Uh, he had some injury problems right. uh, years back, and uh, he tried to be he tried to be on his one hundred percent for the Euros, but he wasn't. Although he's a good player, uh, he's a good friend with Luka Modric, with uh, Dejan Lovren, with uh, other guys, and he had his. Uh, he played really good in Russia. You can't live on something you did three years ago, you yeah. know. And Juranovic at this time, I think he's our number one or number two right back in Croatia. How much money are we talking about for Juranovic? I would say from three to five million million euros. Uh, I think that that's realistic, and uh, Legia would certainly like to have as more as they can, you know. But Lega didn't pay for him uh, a lot of money. Lega didn't pay for him a lot of money because he had some problems with his contract and he didn't want to sign a new one and a few problems with the um, former president of uh, Hajduk. So he, I think that his transfer fee to Legia was around 500,000. I'm not so sure. I'm, 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 I don't know the facts, but something like that. So they're going to earn some money, a lot of money. But I would say from three to five million euros, but as I said, it's only speculation because 
those things can know only guys who are working for either Leggy or Celtic. And that's yeah. it. We can always speculate. Yeah, I totally understand that. But I'm going to ask you what's going to happen. What do you think? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I can I can tell you only one thing that I'm I'm hoping because uh, we like uh, Scottish football here in Croatia. We like your attitude. We like your uh, emotion, passion, everything that goes with it. With it. And I would like for him to, to join a club big as Celtic. To be honest, when I heard that there's a young lad from uh, City already on the stadium, plays the same position, uh, he's a little bit cheaper wor version. And also there's a possibility for, for Celtic to uh, buy his contract in the end of the season. I think well, I'm not so optimistic, but uh, I would... I would you know, I, I always like to, to watch for Scottish football and the uh, championship. Uh, I have my own team. You wouldn't, you would never guess which team is it, it is. But uh, you've got to tell me now. Yeah, it's Ross County. Oh wow! Is that football manager related? Uh, something like I don't know why because I was watching them on the telly two, two times and uh, I don't know where my remote was. It was like Ross County once, or Ross County twice, and it was okay. Ross County is my club. That's it. But uh, to be honest, uh, I I like to watch Scottish football, uh, and uh, I I would really prefer for him to join them. But when I saw everything that I saw, and uh, though that young, young lad from City, I think it's a done deal. Not so sure. I hope I'm, I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Maybe we could sign both because we, we are quite light of options at right back at the moment. We have a guy called Anthony Ralston um, who wasn't rated a lot by supporters, but he's improved quite a lot lately. So maybe we could sign um, both Kuto and Juranovic. Um, Celtic have signed quite a lot of Croatian players in recent years. You've got um, Filip Benkovic, Jozo Simunovic. Um, we've also been linked with a fair few that are playing in Croatia. Um, yes. We had Mario Vuskovic earlier this summer. There's also Christian Lovric. Um, yes, yes. Why, why do you think Celtic are linked with so many Croatian players? I think it suits them, you know, because as I said already, we had, in, if you look back, you had Dado Persia playing for, for Rangers. Uh, you had... Uh, who also played it's now it's Borna Barisic and Katic and also Jozo. Jozo was <laughs> Jozo in, in Celtic. I think that uh, when you look at type of player, I think that, uh, that to be honest, Christian Lovric would be my number one pick if I'm a Celtic guy. If I'm somebody that goes in the if I'm in board and if I'm I, their coach, Lovric would be my number one guy because he's uh, not so much into defense. He only plays on the other uh, other half of the field. But when he gets the ball, it's a danger. It's a media danger, and uh, his set pieces are breathtaking. You can just uh, see them on YouTube or where you want. It's a stunning goals. Uh, also, Vuskovic, uh, I I'm not so sure. I think that they're more realistic, more realistic for him to join somebody like uh, Feyenoord or, or some club in it, Italy. But, uh, yeah, Lovric would be my number one pick for sure. Steve. I'm not. Sure. I don't know why. I don't know why because it's not only the media is creating those those type uh, type of rumors. There is something, you know. There is something. Uh, we saw a lot of times. Uh, we saw somebody from Scotland uh, scouts uh, to come to Croatian football matches. Uh, I was once. I didn't know what's happening. You know, there was a scout from uh, Aberdeen, I think. He was standing right ne next to me. I was thinking, oh, who's this lad? You know, I didn't know him. And he was watching, I was a few years ago. I rem I can't remember, sorry. He was watching a player. We never know, nobody, nobody, we didn't know nobody's watching him. You know, we were mm -hmm. like in shock that Aberdeen is watching him. So that was like a big thing for us. And he said to us, please don't, don't tell anybody, don't, don't write that. We didn't, but we were in so shock. I'm going to tell you later. I don't remember who it was, but, uh, there is something, there is some connection, some link, who knows why. But I think that uh, Croatian players um, play the... They were, I think, good. I'm not so sure. You, you know better than me, but I think that they were playing really good in Scotland. So if you have three or two or three uh, examples, good examples, you're going to continue on that path, and that's it. 
I'm frantically trying to remember Croatian players at Celtic now. We've got Benkovic, uh, Simunovic, Steep Pletikosa had a, a trial at Celtic. He played one game and didn't get signed. I don't think there's anyone else unless I'm missing someone obvious. Uh, Mark, Mark Viduka is kind of Croatian Australian, yeah, isn't he? Great. He is Croatian. Although he played for Australia, he is from Croatia. He now, you wouldn't you wouldn't believe me, but he now has a coffee shop in Zagreb and he works as a waiter. He doesn't want to be involved in football. He is not interested in that. And he works as a waiter. He was a terrific goal scorer. Yeah, fantastic. Um, can we go back to Lovric for one minute? Because the fans of this channel are obsessed with Lovric. His, his goal-scoring record is incredible. He just scores so many goals and he's not even a striker. He's a left winger. So he would be able to handle the step up to Celtic, wouldn't he? I think he would because he plays for Gorica and um, Gorica is a... Three years ago, they were playing in second tier. And three years ago, they were playing in third tier. And Gorica is one of those clubs you that had a big, big step in recent years, Lovric was the one who played, uh, who saw saw everything for Goritz. And now it's his time to make a step, a uh, big step in his career. And I think that Celtic would be a fantastic, fantastic uh, club for him. Uh, yes, he is a left winger. He has great set, set pieces. And uh, he's not one of the quickest guys you can see on the field. He's one of those guys who wants the ball, uh, he wants the ball in his, in his feet. And then he can go in the direction of goal and his really his right leg and left leg he scores goals that's it period now we don't have to talk about him and uh, one more thing about Lovric uh, as I said already he th he's not one of those guys who is going to uh, play really good defense if you're a left back if you're a right back and Lovric is your left winger you're in you you're good to go in offense you know he won't he won't be in the in the defense but uh, when he gets the ball in his feet and uh, it's 30 meters uh, from other goal you're in trouble he's been liking celtic posts on instagram quite a lot so he's clearly keen to to come um, our team have to work really hard when we've not got the ball our manager mm -hmm. wants us to win the ball back is that something lovrich could do he could, but you have to be aware that if he if he's into defense, he's not going to be as as productive as he can in offense. Mm. Uh, but uh, you have to sacrifice something in his game. I think that's something that's something similar to we like to call him in the NBA. You have uh, James Harden, who is not playing a really good defense, but but when he gets the ball in offense, it's a done deal. You know, you know what you're going to get an assist or or he's going to score something. Something is going to happen, and something like that is is uh, Christian Lovic. Although he doesn't have a big beard. <laughs> Brilliant, um, Isaac. It's been a pleasure to have you on. Um, if anyone wants to find out more about Celtic's move for Juranovic, you can find Isaac on Twitter. He's at IA Susic. You can see all the boom updates on there. Um, it's been great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.